This video presents to you a top-notch sample conversation which contains answers to the questions that are usually asked to IELTS candidates about their hometowns. Note that this sample conversation about hometown can be used by both IELTS aspirants and general learners of English to practice speaking English. Use the sample conversation according to your own details by including the excellent words and accurate grammatical constructions employed in it and practice speaking on your hometown with your friends. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Question 1. Good afternoon, I'm Robert Locke. What's your name? Answer. Good afternoon, sir. My name is John Yates. You can call me John simply. Question 2. What's your candidate number? Answer. My candidate number is BD383. Question number 3. Let's talk about your hometown. What's the name of your hometown and where is it located? Answer. The name of my hometown is Karupetia. It is located in the middle of the state called Assam. My hometown is also referred to as the heart of Assam, as it lies in the middle of it. Question number four. Is your hometown small or big? Answer. My hometown is a small-sized city consisting of around one lakh people. It's not an overcrowded place. It's a neat and clean city with a lot of greenery. It's a developing city in the northeastern region of India. Question number five. How many years have you lived in your hometown? Answer. Well, I have lived in my hometown for 20 years so far, as I have been living there since my childhood. This long time period of staying in my hometown has resulted in my long friend circle. Question number six. What are some of the best things about your hometown? Answer. Because my hometown is very close to a river, it has a lot of greenery around it. It has fertilized landscapes wherein various types of food are produced. The area is totally free from pollution, water pollution, food pollution, and air pollution. Question number seven. What is the best way to reach your hometown? Answer. You could travel via flight or train and touch down at the Guwahati airport or railway station. Once you are there in Guwahati, you can either hire a cab or hop onto a bus to reach my hometown. Question 8. Should I visit your hometown at any special time or of the year? Answer. I would recommend the autumn season to you to visit my hometown because it's the most suitable and convenient period of time for tourists. Autumn is the season during which there are usually a lot of outdoor activities and tourist attractions. Question number nine. Do you like your hometown? If yes, why? Answer. Of course, I do like my hometown because it is one of the fastest developing cities of India in terms of economy, education, and healthcare. I believe advancement in the economy, education, and healthcare of my hometown makes it a great city. Besides, it has a variety of uh, amazing food and enthralling and attractive places to visit. This is why I like my hometown very much. Question number 10. Can you mention anything you dislike about your hometown? Answer. There is no doubt that I like my hometown very much. But three things I dislike about it are lack of education, early marriage, and geographical location. I believe lack of education and early marriage are a hindrance to the development of the people of my hometown. As to the geographical location of my hometown, it's attacked by the river every year and crops are destroyed. Question 11. 
Which thing about your hometown do you like most? Answer: The most appealing, favorable, and remarkable thing about my hometown is the reduced traffic volume. The traffic is ideally better. Low traffic volume and a smooth flow make roads safer, the air less polluted, and the public health good. Question number twelve: Will you ever quit your hometown? Why or why not? Answer A. Well, my answer would be yes, as there are a lot of opportunities in terms of jobs and startups in a metropolitan city, and there are top-notch roads, well-built houses, highly developed transport facilities, and improved medical amenities. I would like to move to such a city that offers me all these opportunities and facilities. Answer B. My answer would be no. My hometown is an ideal place for me to lead a peaceful and happy life. Because I don't like the hurly burly of city life, and I love to be in a place replete with peace and serenity, healthy food, fresh air, clean water, and a lot of greenery, I'll never quit my hometown. I believe my hometown offers me all these advantages. Question thirteen: Can you tell me about the types of jobs of the people residing in your hometown? Answer: There are a number of professions and jobs the people of my hometown are engaged in. There are farmers who mostly produce paddy, maize, and wheat. Farm workers who work for the farmers. Landscape workers who are engaged in gardening. A number of shopkeepers who run shops and stores of various types, and a few of them are government employees. Question number fourteen: Can you talk about the literacy rate of your hometown? Answer: According to the data of 2011 census, my hometown's literacy rate is 83.66 percent. Male literacy rate is 88.87 percent. And female literacy rate is 77.78 percent. It's expected that there would be a great and significant growth in the literacy rate of my hometown, as a number of NGOs are spreading awareness about education, and the government is instituting numberless schemes aimed at improving education. Question number fifteen. What are some of the changes that have taken place since your childhood? Answer: I've witnessed a lot of changes in my hometown. The place where I reside has undergone a number of changes. With the passage of time, new buildings built, lifestyle changed, advancement in science and technology took place, and new professions and jobs replaced the old ones. Question number sixteen: What change do you not like about your hometown? Answer: To me, the turning of my hometown into a city filled with hustle and bustle and increased traffic volume is what I do not actually like. This transition from a peaceful city to a bustling one is really detestable.